Hi, welcome to Blind Owl Bushcraft and Survival. Please enjoy our channel. If you would, we'd appreciate it if you join our Patreon page. It's been a long, long road. Thank you. Hi, welcome to Blind Outdoors. I've been watching a lot of videos from Nova Scotia. Uh, a friend of ours is showing a lot of videos about lighthouses. This is as close to a lighthouse as you get, but there's not even a not even a light on it anymore. So yeah. That's definitely the boat. It's a big one. Ocean jet. It's about ten dollars to go over to Cebu. If you ever do take it over here, make sure you get your tickets ahead of time. Because sometimes over in Cebu, the, the boat will be booked up. Any type of holiday here, the boats are booked up real bad. There'll be a waiting list. I think he's going to turn around. That's pretty wild. I think he's going to go up to the end of the, end of the pier. I'm not sure, but... probably using little water jets to move them around. It's a pretty slick driving there. That's some pretty fancy driving. That's a big boat. Probably a 70 footer at least. They say they fly out there in the open water. Try to get a good 20 miles an hour, maybe. <coughs> the old Banca boats used to take two and a half hours. This one takes 45 minutes. He's got a line on. Got a line on the front. Yeah, he's, he's sliding right into the right into the bed, into the pier. Yeah, very nice. Be a great job driving something like that. There's the captain right there. Probably. He's probably not even driving. It's probably another guy driving for him. Yeah, he's calling instructions on the radio. Well, this is my first time ever meeting Judd. I've been talking to him for a long time, several years. He came over, he's come over here for a three month vacation. Meet his new girlfriend, real nice lady, Lonnie. And they're gonna spend a couple months traveling around the Philippines, getting to know each other. He's gonna stay here in Bohol for a couple weeks, I guess. Visit with us. There we go, here comes the people. 
see if we can see Judd. I imagine they're up in the air condition area. So they'll probably be the last off the boat. Oh, they had to go through an inspection here. They don't want it. I'm sure they don't want any pork. Any pork in the island. What, what what do you inspect for? For pork. Yeah. Pork, that's what I thought. Yeah, for pork. Oh yeah, quite a few people. Don't see anybody I know yet though. No. Few white women here. One there, and two more back there. Not having vacation in the Philippines, I guess. I don't know where they went to. There with the black back on. Quite a few people on the boat. Yeah, they're expecting everybody's bag, especially carry-on bags for pork. They don't want any more of that African swine flu here. Hello. So don't see Marfi, Judd, or his girlfriend yet. A lot of people on this boat. That's a good what, 150 or more. There's someone with a suitcase. This might be Judd's area. Two, three suitcases. Yeah, I think that is Judd. I think that's, I think that's Murphy there, if I'm not mistaken. 
Yeah, we would have never got those on the. Hi. There we go. There's Judd right there. He's coming. I thought all the suitcases only come. <laughs> I would like to see that kid. Down there where you park at. You, you bring over here. Not allowed to. Wait, this one. Maybe you know somebody. Hi, Jared. Hey, how's it going, Dan? Good to see you. We finally made it. I see that. <laughs> yeah, we would have never got these suitcases in the car in a million years. Nice looking lady, huh? Yeah. Friendly? Here's Myra Fee. Hi. Stand in the sun. She can't take it. Um, I'm what? Hi, nice to meet you. Finally yeah. meet. Yeah, thank you. Done the love of my life. <laughs> how, how was the boat ride? It was good. Yeah. yeah. I think that thing's pretty big. Yeah, we uh. We're supposed to get some other seating and they ran out. Oh. But it worked out. I mean, our seating was going to be like 450 pesos each. Yeah. And they gave us seating for 100. Thanks for watching. Take care.